Hey guys, Mr. Jelly here. Welcome back. Uh, today I was going to do a review on The uh, Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward, the uh, Sergio Martino film from 1971. But i got to find the disc. Don't have the case. I think I left it in the bathroom. Check it out real quick and then we'll uh, get to the video, guys. So just bear with me here. Let's see if we can find it here. Uh, oh! oh! Okay, I wasn't expecting it. What the heck are you doing in my bathroom? Again? I'm reading this. Do you want to review this? Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Oh, here you go. Perfect, dude. Uh, Be out in a minute. Did you get enough TP there or anything? Yeah, we're good. Excuse me. Hey guys, welcome back. Vincent Jell here, The Shaman. Uh, another review for you guys. Uh, today we're going to talk about 1971's The Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward. One of Very my strange. favorite Jellos mm -hmm. of all time. Uh, Sergio Martino, All the Colors of the Dark, Your Vice is a Locked Room and Only I Have a Key, mm. Torso, yep. and then this one. I think the storytelling, the story, the whole thing in this is just fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, really good. It's complex. It really is. It's lovely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not a dumbed down movie at all. No, no, definitely. Very sophisticated. Not. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah. So, a little synopsis for those of you who haven't seen it. Uh, an ambassador's wife discovers that the men in her life, either her husband, an ex lover, or current lover, may be a vicious serial killer. Yep. Oh. Yep, that's it. That pretty much uh, sums it up. Yep. Yeah, I mean, this, uh, just a, another great movie by uh, Martino. Um, one little interesting thing. The reason, I've always kind of wondered, and I dug this a little bit of trivia. As you can see, there's always an H on the end of Mrs. Ward, and, uh, you know, W-A-R-D-H. Mm -hmm. And apparently, when this film was released, uh, there was some Mrs. Ward that was extremely offended that they would think that she uh, has something to do with this film, and that's, the, you know, the goings-on in the film. Really? So they sued, sued Martino and, and the production company and everything, and so they added an H to the end of the name. <laughs> To uh, yeah, I'll get around that or whatever. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, I mean, wow, it's kind of a crazy story. But That's yeah, a crazy story. Kind of neat though. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this this movie has it all, guys. Uh, you know, there's all kinds of crazy stuff going on. There's a, sort of the sex kind of, not a sex cult, but like there's sort of sex. Uh, sadomasochism uh, kind of stuff in there. Yeah, yeah. And like this mm -hmm. this bloodlust. Uh, you know, uh, so we've got George Hilton, mm -hmm. one of the all time coolest dudes he's ever. A cool cat. Yeah, he's a cool guy. cat. Oh man. Yeah. So some of my favorite uh, Jallo films with him are with him in them, and of course uh, the incomparable Edvige uh, Fenech, this beautiful woman. Oh my gosh! I mean, she's just she's stunning. Uh, you know, just watching her on screen mm -hmm. uh, with her eyes, they're, they're so expressive. You know, and just she can say so much through just her facial expression and just yeah. oh, it's fantastic. But yeah, this movie kind of starts out and you know going down this path of uh, debauchery uh, where you've got. Uh, you know, this this woman sort of laying there, and this guy comes along, and he smashes a bottle, you see the glass falling, amazing. breaking onto her, oh. and then he climbs on top of her, and they start kind of going at it, and the, you can just imagine... The, the glass is cutting them and stuff? <laughs> yeah! That yeah, was hardcore. Yeah, it really, really is, you know? Yeah, but she seemed to enjoy it, and it's just weirdness. Yeah. Like, celluloid weirdness. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, we kind of come <laughs> to find that she kind of enjoys... Uh, <laughs> You know, kind of pain, like you were referring to, and mm -hmm. like just this sort of the blood, like it kind of freaks her out, but at the same time, she kind of enjoys this. So, yeah. She's also kind of an ignored wife, right? So, mm -hmm. she, yeah, so there's there's that. She's looking for some excitement. Exactly, yeah. She's an ignored wife. Uh, she's got, you know, an ex boyfriend in this film, and then sort of this new George Hilton character kind of appears, mm -hmm. who's an heir to this, uh, you know, to this big sum of money. Mm -hmm. And so that kind of there sort of starts the whole uh, intrigue and. Um, you know the whole kind of thriller aspect of the movie. Yep. Uh, but this this film has a really really cool uh, '70s vibe to it, man. Like yeah. that sort of the uh, music, the and music, yeah. and, and the full thing, and just and like you were saying before, um, you know, a lot of these jolly are sophisticated. Yeah. Um, you know, and it's a shame that it really kind of died out. You know, at the end of the '70s. I mean, the, you know, the advent of the slasher and everything. Mm -hmm. But. Just really, really, really cool vibe to these movies, and and just beautifully shot. And Martino just really went for it here, not only in the storytelling, but just you know, this this the scenes themselves, uh, the whole thing. Uh, you know, like there, there's a scene of uh, Hilton and and Fennec cruising down this highway, a freeway, uh, you know, highway freeway, whatever, down the on his motorcycle, and he's got these cool shades on, and he's just just cruising. And they're just they're just giving her down this road, and it's just. The, you know, the countryside you can see, you know, mm -hmm. kind of unfolding. 
And he's just this cool character, you know, the leather jacket and the full thing. Just, it's super awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're really like a handsome, sort of sexy couple in this. Yep. So you want to watch, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and there are a lot of romantic scenes in this as well that kind of come into play. And it's, so it's not just like a, a slasher kind of thing. There's, there's a lot of drama and romance kind of mixed in and just mm -hmm. really, really well done. As I said, you know, uh, she's so expressive with her eyes and everything, and just uh, beautiful to, to watch. Mm -hmm. um, you know, interesting thing, uh, there's a quote in this movie. That, now, basically what happens is these women are getting murdered, and um, Fennec gets a, uh, her name's Julie in the movie, so Julie gets a, uh, starts getting these roses with these little cards, and they all have these little poems on them, mm -hmm. you know? And you're starting to think, well, is it her ex-boyfriend that's sending these notes? Because she, she really doesn't like this guy anymore. He's yeah. kind of trying to pursue her still that's true and um you know so what's happening is he's she's getting these roses and on these little cards there's these, these poems um and one of them says uh, your vice is a locked room and only i have the key which is actually um uh, kind of foreshadowing to his his next picture which yeah. was is titled um uh, your vice is a locked room only she has a key uh, only i have the key Very kind of a cool little thing mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, so she keeps getting these, and meanwhile, the killer keeps wandering around, you know, killing people with a razor and his black gloves, and it's, you know, the full Jallo setup here. Mm -hmm. Really, really cool, but just, just a really stylistic film that I really, really, really enjoy. Um, some great Beautiful. plot twists. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely, yeah. Uh, you know, at the end, you know, you'd never see, you know, some of this stuff coming. Super twist. And, and the very end, uh, like, who, who the killer is, is incredible. I mean, you really need to watch this film. I don't want to give it away, because it's one of the all-time greats, in my opinion. The way this movie ends, you're like, man, like, what a clever, clever story. And just just a wonderful picture. Yeah. And the score is good, too. The score's pretty cool. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know if there's anything else to add, really, or... No, I just... It, it's just a great film. Uh, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's the first time I've, I've watched it, and it's just amazing. I would definitely check it out, guys. Mm -hmm. um, you know, let's check that one out. If you like this review, stay tuned for more uh, Jello reviews, slasher reviews, who knows what other kind of reviews. See where the shaman may pop up next. You never know. Never know. And uh, we will talk to you guys. Please subscribe. Greatly appreciate it. Leave us some comments below. Yeah. Uh, thumbs up if you can. We'd love it. And uh, we will talk to you guys on the next one. Take care.